Yeah, pause on that folks and have a have a read because I'm gonna do a quick walk around before the huge crowd gets here. This is a 1955 Toyo Pet Crown. Oh yes. Look at that. And here are the specifications, 1.4 liters, 1,455 cc, sorry, 1,453 cc, 48 horsepower, 36 kilowatts, 4,000 RPM, from 1955, look at that. And the windows are down, we're not allowed to touch the cars, of course. But the windows are down. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Look at that steering wheel. And it actually tells you the different uh, components. Oh, suicide doors. The doors open this way. Hi, guys. I'm Alas. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Alas. Hi. Hi. Can you imagine how difficult this would be to get to replace? So nice. Hey, Thomas. Those are those. That. Nineteen fifty five. Look at the curved glass. <laughs> and and that, that body line that droops suddenly and goes up, that is so so Cadillac. Yes, there was a time when uh, for inspiration Japan was using uh, design cues, a lot of design cues from America. And uh, if you notice cars like the two forty Z are uh, actually inspired by the uh, Corvettes. <laughs> this is where merchandising began. The introduction of Toyota genuine car products. Merchandising and accessories. Get the split uh, windshield. So nice. <laughs> and those typical, very thin steering wheels with the horn in the center, you can push that any, anywhere around this, you can just push it and the horn would activate. Beautiful. If you notice, it's a bench seat in front bench seat at the rear and no gear shift and if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken that uh, that button on the on the ground there can you see that you see that button there on the ground that was to actually activate the high beam if I'm not mistaken because my dad's Sunbeam Alpine had the same thing high beam activation is on the floor and look at that dashboard. Minimalist, perfect. With a clock right in the center. Car manufacturers are actually going back to that right now to put the clock right dead center there so that everybody in the car can see what time it is. But all the uh, important uh, gauges are all here with the driver, speedometer, temperature, something, fuel, and probably, um, that's temperature, probably. And that one is fuel, I think. Can't really see. Oh, I wish I could get open the door and get in. That would be so nice. Look at that. Okay. This is possibly the only car here at this uh, Toyota Museum. This is not the Automobile Museum. This is more the museum for how it all began with machines like this. And in that movie, one said uh, James McAvoy was trying to catch one of these as it was flying through. So yeah, that's the thing. But here we go, look at that. 
Oh, I love these old movies. Amazing. Showing this car. Promo video. <laughs> so yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. We will be visiting the Automobile Museum sometime later today, but this is more a guided tour of the history surrounding uh, Toyota and how it all started. Hope you've enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more. I'll be back. Bye.